Welcome to McDonald's in Hong Kong. We got a massive video from multiple times of us trying tons of food here. Let's go see this menu. What are we having at the McDonald's? Oh my Jumbo gosh. Jumbo breakfast. Yeah. Jumbo breakfast with some interesting Chinese drink. So Hong Kong McDonald's is known to be like super, super different. And the, and the fact that there's already advertising something different that we've never yeah. seen before is a good sign for them. One of the most fun things to do is come to a new country and try an American thing with Hot cake syrup. You can either get syrup, sweet and creamer, and peanut butter. Interesting. Crunchy oval peanut and sweet and oh, creamer. Gosh, this is so much. I'll try the sweet and creamer and peanut butter. Okay. Just gonna show some of the like this. ham and cheese burger. Grilled chicken twisty pasta meal. Twisty pasta. I like how they call it twisty, twisty pasta. pasta. It's all muffin ham and egg twisty pasta meal. And it's all breakfast right now. I mean, I bet if we waited. 20 minutes it would switch yeah, yeah so we can wait 20 minutes and switch it over Leo fish morning value fix okay so maybe get a little bit of breakfast and then after we eat the breakfast and do the taste test we'll get a little bit of lunch and show you some of the yeah, crazy yeah. things we have here we have tongue coke too like the japanese dang there's so much stuff welcome to mcdonald's in uh, hong kong wow it's an it's interesting. It's overwhelming. It is. Uh, so there's the McCafe and the normal McDonald's, which are separate from each other. Went over to the McCafe to pay for my order, and they're like, oh, you have to go to McDonald's. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, but McCafe apparently has like pasta, pizza, sandwiches. And we just got the breakfast. The lunch doesn't start until 11. So it's 10.30 about right now. So we got some breakfast items. Wow, that's a big one. This is the deal right now. I have not seen this yet. This was thirty dollars. Holy nuts! Ah, those pancakes are pretty thick, actually. Whoa! Got some scrambled eggs with cheese. It's basically like my own sausage egg McMuffin. Yeah. And hotcakes. Not bad. And then it comes with sweetener and peanut butter to throw on there. Oh, so there's no syrup. Uh -oh. I noticed on the menu syrup was a thing you bought extra, and then I got, of course, a hash brown. Delicious, tasty as always. It sogged through my napkins though, so yeah, it got on it got on my sweetener a little bit. And uh, I guess I'll just take a quick nip of this blueberry sauce because you got a whole parade to. I do sip have a whole parade. There. It's interesting. On the back of this, it says uh, made in Malaysia. So I made this in Malaysia, but we didn't see that McDonald's in Malaysia. Uh, -uh we did not. Let's try this blueberry. That is. Nestle blueberry yogurt that I think I've probably had before. It looks quite familiar. I think this is like 18. 18 dollars? Mm -hmm. It's a little too much for that, but yogurt's usually kind of expensive. And I'll go with my um, scrambled egg chicken sandwich. That's an interesting one. Whoa. What the heck? Look at that thing. Yeah. I don't know. Whoa, the, like, the wow. breading looks pretty good. It looks decent. Yeah, this it's more messy than I expected. Wow, that's actually really good. Yeah. The breading is like seasoned. Oh, is, oh. It, is it a typical breakfast sandwich? No, <laughs> it's like if you took a better version of a McChicken, like take a McChicken and put like pepper on it and stuff, mm. and then slap an egg. And then slap an egg and some cheese and some. Uh, I guess mayo's on the McChicken, but that's pretty good. I mean, look at that thing. That's a big burger. I think it was 20. 20? That's bad. That's pretty good. Yeah. I'm it very smells impressed. actually pretty good. I'm impressed. Oh. oh, that's very unfortunate. That's not as impressive. Egg just got on my lap, and there's mayo now on my lap. Oh, now it's time for my jumbo breakfast. I'm gonna assemble a sausage egg McMuffin, I guess, first. This is epic. It's very interesting. We're in like the business area. So there's a lot of people in here with suits and everyone's dressed up eating McDonald's. It's, and then there's us. It's very different from the clientele you would see at inside of McDonald's in the US. Yeah. <laughs> Grape jam. I guess I can put that on there then. Good. And have those separate. But you don't have syrup for your pancake. I don't know what's good on a pancake. A sweetener and creamy peanut butter is what I got with it. What the heck is a sweetener? Is it just like I don't know. cream? It might just be, yeah, like condensed oh, milk maybe. It really gave you quite the sauce, the sauces for that. I imagine this is gonna be exactly what I expect. But less crunchy. 
It is. Oh. I can actually put some peanut butter on there, too. Okay. Peanut butter on English muffin is where it's at. You can mix and match everything with this deluxe breakfast. <laughs> I'm surprised by the price, 30 With a hash brown and all this. It's pretty cheap. And a sausage taste test. Now, if you get bored of the grape jam, you can get a bite of sausage egg McMuffin. I like this. It's like the best English mu muffin combo you could get. Mm. Sausage has a little bit of flavor, which is good. What? Last time we had a sausage egg McMuffin, it had no flavor in the Philippines. And the egg quality is definitely better than even U.S. That's just like a nice scrambled egg with cheese. Look at that. Fantastic. And now what the moment has come to, a um, sweetened pancake. Oh, what the? It is like condensed milk on a pancake. I mean, I guess now it should be good. It'd be very it'll, sugary. It'd be more like a dessert. Which pancakes probably should be. Yeah, but yeah. America. All right. Oh, that's not, oh, wow, never mind. At first, it wasn't that sweet when it went in, but then the aftertaste was pretty dang sweet. It tastes super good, though. It's more like the cinnamon roll. When you get like a nice melty cinnamon uh, roll, it's like the cream that's on top of that. Where would and you I love it? that. Where would you put it in pancake, fast food pancake break case? It's pretty thick for a fast food pancake. With the cream on there, I think that's the best fast food pancake I've had. Are you fragging kidding me? I'm not kidding you, bro. That's insane, bro. Wow. There's so much left for to try. We still have some things to get for lunch. If We might have to turn this into a multiple visit thing if it's like insane for lunch, but I think breakfast we basically conquered. Maybe like one of those cheese croissants would be interesting to try. They're pretty expensive, they might be big. So I saw somebody eating one over there and it was big. It was like this thick. Let's see you in a second for some lunch. <gasps> oh, it's lunch. Back at the same McDonald's, we're gonna do a, bit of, a little bit of a tiny bit of lunch taste testing. And then after we're gonna be going to the fancy McDonald's Next, which apparently, according to reviews, was kind of discontinued. And it's not like they were like, oh, this is gonna be the next big thing. And then stop doing it. Hopefully there's still some fanciness Hopefully. left over at least. A little bit, they a have, little bit. They have pasta and pizza on the menu. We haven't got that yet. We'll get that at that place. But we got a few of the different things. Um, this is entirely in Chinese, so I don't remember what this is called. It's some sort of green. It's got green on the bottom, like a yellowish to white, and then some coconut little things on top, probably. <laughs> he said to surprise him, and that was the weirdest thing. It is on the quite menu. surprising indeed. And it's got a big straw. This is like fancy. Like I like that the McDonald's here has like fancier stuff. I mean, they're still the signature burgers. That's mm -hmm. their big thing, which we did not get. I mean, the quality of the place down here looks pretty good yeah. as well. And the Mick Cafe seems to be a big thing. Mm -hmm. There is definitely lemons in there. Is it actually any different or does it just have a lemon? I'm scared. I have literally no clue what to expect because <laughs> I don't know what it is at all. I know it's got some bubbles, so it's got to be carbonated. Ooh. It's very sour. It must be lime of some sort. At least that part's lime. What the heck was it? I can't It's car definitely carbonated. Pretty dang sweet though. I want to get a Cracker. Is that gonna come in the straw? I don't know if it'll come up the straw. It's pretty cube shaped. That seems like a bad choice. Yeah, it's pretty good. Dang, it's definitely sour. Oh, my lemon coke is overflowing over this thing. It's slowly leaking out the sides. You can drink your lemon coke quick. All right, I'm gonna lemon coke this thing up. Oh God, it's carbonated. That is different. I don't know what it is, but it's like the lemon. Is there actually stuff in there other than just the lemons on top? Yeah, it's like the lemon doesn't just make, like give it a little lemon taste. It just like, it, it, it makes the Coke taste more strong. Oh, more tingles in there. The sour with the carbonation like this one has adds so much tingle to the mouth. Ooh, it's, wow. it's quite the, quite the ride. Ooh, yo. Uh, I got something else quite interesting. Uh, these things are just secondary things, but this is cream soup, cream corn soup flavored cream seasoning corn soup. for fries. Um, that is an interesting one. This should be quite... We've, we've had mixed bags like this in other countries before where you can mix the flavor seasoning in. I've never seen a unique one like that, cream no. corn soup. In the Philippines, it's cheese, sour cream, and barbecue usually, and they're usually out of barbecue, so go for the cheese. The cheese. You're gonna use all of that for the five fries? Yes, I am. Let me get, let me get a whiff of this first. Corn? 
It smells like very, very corny. It smells wow. like those corn chips. It literally just smells like corn. <laughs> like if you were to take a cob of corn, just smell it. Can't tell if they're corned up enough, but let's see. All right, take your corns. Oh, I'll take my corn. It smells like corn. <laughs> this is gonna be quite the experience. Here we go. Oh, it's sweet. It really tastes like corn. It tastes like corn. It's got that like sweetness, sweet saltiness when it first hits you just from like being a powder. <laughs> and then it's just corn. I never in a million years thought there'd be corn flavored fries. Taking a potato and turning it into corn. <laughs> it's actually pretty good though. Yeah, I mean, the texture, it basically just makes it so it's a, like how corn pops in your mouth. It's just soft corn. <laughs> Weird, kind of delicious. Pretty, that's addicting. I like that. If we um, come back later at maybe at McDonald's next, we will try seaweed. They also have. Oh. But okay. I thought corn. I've never seen corn before. I've uh, seen corn seaweed in creamy other soup flavor. I, I actually kind of like that's it. Pretty like, dang it's kind good. of good. That's good. I like it. Okay, another thing here. Yeah, it was just a strawberry shake. To see if it's any different. Oh, it's pretty small. It is pretty small. I'm just gonna drink it off the top like it. How does it compare to the strawberry shakes in the U.S.? In the U.S., they're pretty fake strawberry flavored, but they're pretty dang good. This is pretty good. It's more like soft syrup. That's definitely, yeah, that's way more ice creamy. I like that a lot. That's really good. I think that's better than the U.S. one, I think. It's like soft syrup ice cream. And then just to get a bite, this is just a McChicken. Well, it didn't go anything super special, but let's see if it's the same. Yep, it's the same chicken mm. as my chicken sandwich. Wow. That's going to be pretty dang good then. So... Yeah. Can I get a peppery taste to it? That's good. It's a good flavor. It's not nice. as crispy as a McChicken. Uh, but it looks pretty crispy, but it's not. That's sad. I guess it's not as much like crisp on the outside. It's thin. Yeah. So that's pretty good. I like the black pepper taste. This is the no. This is the star of the show today. Yes. Yeah, I didn't expect that. On to the next. More unique things. Transition. Whoa. I just went to the bathroom back there and it looked like an old Chinese factory back there. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I found out on the menu this is uh, white grape. White grape? Ah. With the coconut thingies. Very interesting. Fantastic. This is McDonald's Next, which apparently it isn't McDonald's Next anymore. It got discontinued at some point. It is the fanciest McDonald's apparently in the world. It has a salad bar, it's fancy like this, and it has some signature salads, basically, is the only different thing. Oh, hey, welcome to the fancy McDonald's. Hey. The menu is basically the same as the McDonald's last time, but we're just gonna finish out the video. We got a lot of stuff to try here, a lot of big, very unique items. We, we're just deciding what we wanna drink now. We got McDonald's twice just for this video. Not exactly what we wanted to do. No. Just local milk tea. So how much are these even? So these are 21 and the milk tea said it was 25. I wonder if it's any good. Bubble oh, series, iced Alcanawa brown sugar bubble milk. I will try that. Do you want one? Yeah. Total, our, here's our Oh, party. nuts. This is what we got. Doink, 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 doink. See you guys in the eating part. Okay, so we definitely need to go to the other place to get the rest of our food. Let's just take a view of this place, a nice walk through. There's the salad bar. That's the, that's the fancy part of this one. Apparently it used to be cooler, but they downgraded. Huh? This is probably us here, 174. We got our milk teas. That pasta is decently big. Here's the steak. I'm kind of excited. I saw another video that said the pasta was really good. So if it's really good, I like some tuna pasta. It's quite the heavy plate. Oh God. Some dense food we're getting. This is a fancy place. We're getting pretty busy now too. It's a tourist attraction. Tonight we're gonna eat some good Hong Kong food, not McDonald's. All right, we have our McDonald's feast. 
This is the pasta. That oh. looks pretty dang good. Whoa, that looks good. Wow, I am that. It, hopefully, it tastes as good as that looks. That looks pretty dang good. Okay, okay. The pizza is super small. It's smaller than my hand. What the heck? Oh, it's super greasy. Oh, the heck? It's like a piece of flatbread with cheese, pineapple, and chicken on it. It's literally like a piece of pita. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's Looks not. Looks okay. Tear it, maybe. All right, and then finally, these burgers. We got exactly the same thing, so. Whoa. Whoa, those buns. Why do those buns look so good? They look like they've been buttered up. That looks pretty dang good. Okay. Wow, I'm excited to try some of this stuff. Dang, yeah, let's try. All right. Oh, it greased through the oh, bottom. Oh, no. All right. I need to save the napkin. The pizza's greasing everywhere. We're ready to eat some of this stuff. Let's start with the pizza, because that thing is greasy as nuts. Is there like a silverware or anything here? Oh, wooden silverware. Let's here go. is your knife, sir. Let's Thank knife you so it. Much. Let's knife, knife it together. Knife it. There's a bird. This is not fancy. Oh, I'll, yeah. I'll got, I'll got, I got the fork pan. Okay. Uh huh. This is oh, fantastic yeah. pizza. It seems like it's dragging all the cheese off when I knife it. Is this Italy or Hong Kong? I can't Honestly, tell. Honestly, this might be the most Italian pizza I've ever seen in my entire life. Is it? Oh gosh. All right. Oh, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Oh yeah. I guess we'll just go in at the same fraction time. Holy nuts. Oh, there goes my pineapple. All righty. Dink it and sink it. Dinkered. Whoa. Mm. Whoa. 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 That's Whoa. not bad. Why is the bread actually good? I gotta admit, I did not expect that flavor at all. <coughs> I swallowed some of the bread. <coughs> what the heck? That is a unique flavor. Wow. I am impressed. That's not bad. The, the cheese on it is pretty good. The pineapple. If you like pineapple on pizza, it will be pretty dang good. Whoa. The meat even has a sweetness to it as well. Ooh. The bread is floury and soft. A little crunch on the outside. That's not bad. And it's got a cheese bowl. I'm surprised, a little flatbread boy. It's pretty dang good. We had a fast food pizza from a US chain Wendy's in the country of Georgia. They have like an actual oven pizza. This one clearly is not like a full on brick oven pizza, but it's still pretty dang right. good. Not too bad. Pretty impressed by that. I'll give that a 7.5 out of 10. All right. This pasta is really interesting The to me. pasta. That looks amazing. That looks pretty dang good. So we can plop it in between us here. I'm hoping this is like tuna hot dish. Tuna hot dish is a very delicious thing that I like. It's basically oh, oh, exactly yeah. like this. Oh yeah, tuna hot dish, Oh, eh? you betcha. That, look at that cheese bowl. This cheese is good. What the heck? No, it's okay. Oh, yeah. That's pretty dang Ooh. good. Oh yeah. That's pretty dang good. I wish the cheese had a little more flavor. Yeah. It's a lot of texture with the cheese, which is cool, but there's no flavor to it. So you really get the noodles and the tuna is what you're tasting the most, and that's pretty good. Dang, that's good. Fast food pasta? Cheese. Wow, I'm impressed. Why is Hong Kong McDonald's so much better than US McDonald's? What the heck? What is that? Is that a cheese bowl or a hair? It's a cheese bowl. Oh, thank God. Okay, I'll give that an 8 out of 10. Not too bad. I'd give that an 8 out of 10 as well. McDonald's Hong Kong. And now, finally, the signatures. My gosh, these look good. These look, there. you could have, we could have got like the double and it would have been massive, but we just stuck with the Angus truffle burger. So, I mean, this is looking more like Shake Shack than McDonald's. They even have this like casing for it. Yeah, so you can't, don't get all greasered up. Dink that Angus. All right. Oh. Whoa. Look at that. Wow, that is a lot. Not as truffly as I thought. Uh-uh. You really get the onions. Yeah. That's a pretty good fast food burger. That bun is good. Ooh. It's really soft. Wow. I put that up there like hot, one of the better fast food burgers I've got. You wouldn't think this is McDonald's, here. Uh-uh. No. 
Not at all. Dang, McDonald's is killing it. Wow. 8.5 out of 10, I think. I would, burgers. yeah. I'd give that an 8.5 as well. And now? I might have to go grab a straw. Oh, we don't have straws. Hey, see, I got some milk tea from McDonald's, see? I feel the air Dang coming it. through. <laughs> I'm gonna mix mine up nice and good. Look at that milker. Ho, 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 ho. Please don't be coffee. This, for is the love of God. this is definitely the best place to try milk tea in Hong Kong. I would say McDonald's. so. McDonald's. We tried to find it in the mall. The malls were really rough with the food. Seems more shopping than yeah. food. All right. It's not coffee. Thank God. Oh, whoa. Oh. That is a different flavor than other milk tea I've tried. It's more. Tea? Yeah. It's not bad. Definitely not in the top milk teas I've had in Asia so far, but it's not bad. It's not as thick either. Mm. Mm. It's very liquidy, almost watery. Yeah, it is kind of watery. Right, what's the ice melting? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, true. But we ate drank it last. Not bad, six out of 10. Seven out of 10. All right, McDonald's. We'll tell you a little more about our meal after this. Mac Shack in Hong Kong. That was surprising to say the least, wow. Luxury is the luxury. Here. It we wasn't thought, cheap, so it wasn't. We thought Mac Shack in um, Italy was pretty good, actually, but that might be better. That might be the best Mac Shack we've had. Yeah, we got some other ones to try in the future, like Japan, Korea, yeah. stuff like that. But. What will Mac Shack be like in those places? Let's see next time. Mac Shack Chronicles. Mac Shack. Mac Shack.